I wish us luck because we are uh, doing this for you very early this morning. Yes, we are. But uh, you know what? It's Christmas, so it's time for us to help you pick out this year's best festive fizz. So, to help us, we've got uh, Helen McGinn, uh, who's back now. Morning. Good morning, Helen. Morning. Morning, How right then. So, so, so we're very well. We are even too. better now. And I suspect in about six minutes' time, <laughs> even better than that. So, what have you got for us? <laughs> So we've got a real roundup of fizzes here because when we say fizz, there are actually lots of different types and lots of different flavours. And so it really is about picking the one to suit your mood and your budget, of course. Uh, but we're going to start with a pink Prosecco. So the first one here, pink Prosecco, you might think you've had pink Prosecco before, but legally it was only allowed from this year, from oh. about two months ago. So it was illegal so before, before... before this year? It, it wasn't, yeah, uh, Italian law said you couldn't have Prosecco and Rosé, the word Rosé, on the same label. Oh, right. It smells lovely. But that's it changed. Does smell, I think it's so nicer. Now you can. It's not as sweet, weirdly, unless it's just it's, this one. Yeah, too. well, this one actually is a, it's a slightly drier style of Prosecco too. So this, for nice. me, is a perfect, like, I, I want to say breakfast wine <laughs> <laughs> because it is light and frothy and it is eight pounds as well. So really great value yeah, for that's Prosecco. Yeah, nice, what do nice you think of this berries one? as well. In I like there. that. And I'm not a massive Prosecco fan, but this, I really like that. Yeah, and it's dry and crisp. I did a, a big tasting of all the new ones because there is a tidal wave of pink Prosecco coming this way. And this one really does stand out. The Tesco Finest for eight pounds, a real cracker, that one. Mm -hmm. So next up, we've got Carva. Now, the big difference between Prosecco and Carva is obviously different countries. So Italy, and now we've gone to Spain. And also it's how it's made. So Carva is made in the same way as champagne. So it's bottle fermented. So you get a very different type of fizz. It's not frothy like Prosecco. It's, it's more kind of, it's a bit crisper and a mm. bit more sharp. So Lemony. try this one. This is from the Co-op, 7.25. A real classic blend of Spanish grapes, and it's more fruity than, say, champagne. Even though it's made in the same way, warmer country, riper nice grapes, well, so a different style. I and it's quite nicely lemony as well. Yeah, and this one is a cracker for Buck's Fizz, I would oh. say. Mm. If you're going to make Buck's Fizz or Mimosa, then use a good quality carver like this one, and then that is, that's fantastic. Very nice. Where are we to so next? Next up. Next up, we've got Cremon. Now, this Cremon is the M&S Classics Cremon. It's £10. Now, Cremon is basically French sparkling wine made in the same way as Champagne, but from any other region other than Champagne. So this is from Burgundy, so you can see Cremon de Bourgogne. And it's mostly Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes. Nice. And so for £10, you're, you're basically getting a baby Champagne for Prosecco prices, mm. which is what makes this one such good value. £10 for a, for a wine that made does, in the same way as champagne. Nice. What do you think of this one? I, I was talking to uh, Steve's wife. Steve is one of our cameramen uh, here today, and Steve's wife is Alex. Um, and uh, she was asking me uh, the other day about... Um, get him on camera. He's, he's, <laughs> never, he's never balked at it before. Um, and, um, and so Alex was asking me all about Cremon, because we had it on the show the other day. Um, and uh, she works here too, our floor manager. I think yeah. she's floor managing the panto tomorrow. And, uh, <laughs> oh, so... no, she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's only, <laughs> she's only just, let me tell you, she <laughs> loved the Cremon uh, just as she slid off her chair. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good one. That is a good one. Where are we going to next? It's... Really good value. So next, we're going to England. Now, English sparkling wine. We now kind of all know that we're good at making sparkling wine. It's not a joke anymore. We've got the right climate, the right soils, nice. the right grapes, and more importantly, the right mindset. Mm. So this is the English sparkling wine from Tesco. It's really the finest. nice. Non-vintage. So again, like made in the same way champagne. Yeah, and this is from Kent. And Kent... It, there's, you can't grow grapes everywhere in this country yet. We're just not warm enough. But Kent is a brilliant spot. So this is made by Hush Heath. And this one is, again, very similar to Champagne in style, mm. but with more kind of orchard apple fruit. Well, we say, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's sort of a, a bit of a sad thing. You say we can't grow grapes anywhere yet. 
because it's not quite warm enough. We don't really want it to get any warmer. No, we that's don't. That's for sure. But we do benefit from the fact that it has got a bit warmer now with mm -hmm. um, with our English yeah. fears, as places like Kent. But you do pay a little... You, for supporting British business, you do pay a little bit more. You do, you do. But it's, again, because it's made in the same way as champagne, so it's made, fermented in the bottle and aged for quite a long time. So it's not cheap to make. We have to remember that. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, for, for £19, you're getting a really good quality, it is good quality English too. sparkling wine for this one. Yep. The next one, we're still in England, but this one is a bit of a find. So it's a vintage made from grapes from one single year. 2010 is the vintage. And it's from Morrison's, the best. The producer is top secret, but nice, it is it? a very well-known English sparkling producer who makes great quality wines. So when you think this has had a good eight years aging in the cellar. It's very smooth. And if you one. smell it compared with the last one, it's, the price it's much richer, one. more toasty. Mm -hmm. How much is that one? 16. 16 pounds. Well, normally 25. It's normally 25 yeah. pounds and it's down to 16 pounds a bottle. So most of it is in my house, but there is still some left <laughs> on the shelf. What I love about quick. this, because my favourite <laughs> fizzes are the ones that are just that little bit biscuity. Mm. You know, it's got that hazelnutty biscuity flavour and I love that in this. It, exactly that. And I think that's the thing. If it's left in the bottle to age for longer, and vintage has to age for longer anyway, it does give it much more richness and toasty flavour. So hopefully you're going to love the last one as well. Okay. Because we're back to champagne. This one's award winning, So the real it? thing. This one has just scooped a big, big award at one of the big wine competitions. Great value sparkling. So this is from Asda. It's their extra special vintage 2008. So again, think how much time it's had to age in the bottle. 12 years. It's all Chardonnay grapes, so it's Blanc de Blanc in style. So it's very elegant, this one, but still with that lovely richness and toastiness, hopefully, that you mm. that you like. Again, made from a great champagne house as well. So fantastic value at £22. If you want to treat yourself to stylish. vintage champagne, Something, yeah. this this is definitely worth splashing I, out I'll tell you what, there's not one I don't like, and no. I don't, I'm not sort of saying that in a surprising one, because Prosecco I'm not mad keen on, really. I'd rather go Carver, but I thought all of those were lovely. Oh, good. Thank That's you. made my Christmas. Nice selection. Really Thank lovely. You. Thank really you great. very much indeed. Thank you very much. Happy Thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.